Today's adventure is unlike anything I've ever done before. Driving to the top of a 9,000 foot mountain covered in snow, facing challenges all along the way. Every time I go out solo winter camping, I have to ask myself, is it worth it? Where well, today's trip was worth it. I hope you stick around and find out why. My name is Don, and this is Living on the Apex. Well, the rain has turned to snow. It's really slushy and muddy coming up this road. I don't know what kind of campsite we're gonna get. My wife and I were actually up here two days ago and we were gonna camp, but it got too late. It took us too long to get to the top. And man, you talk about snow at the top. The roads were really sketchy, uh, but we had a beautiful drive. We we're just trying to make our way up here. The wind's blowing. And it's going to get cold, I believe. So I sure hope my diesel heater works tonight. It's been packed up for about six months, probably, or more. Just drove up here into the fog now it's getting kind of creepy Okay, I'm near the top here where I'm going to be camping and my dog got out when I got out and she was behind me and now she's not. So who knows how far behind she is. I may have to backtrack. But we came across some beautiful mountain grouse. They flew up in the trees. There was a whole bunch of them who came around a corner. It made me think of a pretty funny story I'm going to share with you maybe during dinner about the very first uh, animal I shot with the compound bow. But anyway, we'll we'll see you at the top here. Made it near the top and walking around trying to find a good spot, found some deer tracks. What'd you find? What'd you find, Belle? Hmm? Hey, what is that? Belle, no! Gross, man! Lady Belle! Unbelievable. Oh, you gotta love it when your dog finds a dead grouse right at the campsite under a tree. Just got here. <clears throat> She's going to have feathers all over. What am I going to do with that dog? Well, let's get set up.
we're gonna make a Swedish torch tonight. The, the better way, I guess. So. Once again, I got the zero degree sleeping bag. It's a double and it's 15 pounds. I also have two wool blankets. And you know what I forgot? I always say, I always gotta forget something. I forgot my pillow. Oh, no glamping tonight. I guess I'll just be using my clothes wadded up in a ball. In my backpack, but no glamping tonight. Well, I'm finally going to go ahead and make a Swedish torch like you're supposed to do it rather than using the auger. I know the auger, drilling holes in it works, but it is, it, it, it's not very effective as far as like how long it takes. It just takes forever. So I'm going to do it the way that most people do it and that's going to split the log into fours and we'll go from there. middle broke out perfect but it feels wet inside so we'll see I don't know if it's gonna work or not we're about 9,000 feet up so excuse my heavy breathing I can use the elevation as an excuse but I'm really out of shape I'm going to take this wire and we're going to put it around the log. All right, it is windy out here. It's about 36 degrees. The temperature is dropping. We're gonna try to get this Swedish torch to fire up. Lady Bell hears me talking. You wanna come up here, Bell? Come on up, come on up. Hey, no, no, this side, this side. Hey, what are you doing? I don't have dinner for you yet. It's almost dinner time. I'm gonna stuff a bunch of paper down in here. We're going to stuff paper, and I got some cedar, some cedar planks. I did some work at the house, and I had some leftover cedar fencing. Boy, I tell you what, that is the best stuff to try to start fires with. I'm going to do it like this.
Now that is a torch. I don't know if this fog's ever gonna clear out, but we did get this Swedish torch. Finally got it going. My goodness. That took a while with the wind, but, and the wood was wet, but once that got going, it's pretty amazing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner cooked and get the diesel heater fired up and make sure it's running. And hopefully, crawl up into a nice warm rooftop tent I was really hoping this would clear up you would not believe the view I was up here on Saturday and we could just see forever right now we have nothing but fog Time for some snow boots, dry socks. My feet have gotten pretty wet out of here. So I was telling you about hunting grouse as a kid. My dad bought me a compound bow when I was a little boy, when I could first hunt. And it was a 20 pound compound bow, a bear bow. And it was white and black. I remember it just like it was yesterday. My dad took me out hunting. We were hunting for deer. And we came across a grouse and my dad said, take the shot. So I notched the arrow, pulled the pulled it back, released it, took aim and released it. And the grouse jerked and started to fly away just as I shot the arrow and the arrow shot the grouse right in the butt and it flew away with my arrow that was my first experience shooting anything was watching a grouse fly away with my arrow in his rear end and I felt real bad for the grouse But those things happen, and you learn, and you, you live and you learn. It is dropping in temperature big time tonight. It's currently about 32 degrees, at least last time I checked. Nice to have a little fire going. I'm gonna start cooking, cooking dinner. I don't know if I want to leave my shoes out here by the fire or not. Don't think so. They're too far gone. I'm gonna go get dinner ready. Karaoke song.
Wow, the clouds are moving away. The fog is moving away and we can see. Couldn't have asked a more beautiful time for the clouds and the fog to clear out of the way. Unbelievable as the sun's going down. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. The chicken and bacon teriyaki sandwich is amazing. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning things up and going to set up the diesel heater and I am praying that it works tonight. It is absolutely freezing out here. Woo. All right, we got everything kind of set up here. It's the way I like to set it up. Diesel in it, hook it up and see if it fires up. Well, I'd say it was an absolutely amazing day. I think the best part about it was the fog clearing out just as the sun was going down. But it got down to about 31 degrees. You can see the low is 31, but the high is 102 because I put the I put the thermometer at the, let me go ahead and switch the camera, down here at the entrance. And it actually says it got up to 102 degrees coming out of that. I don't really need it that hot coming out of that, but near the top of the tent, we're talking about 73 degrees. So, but anyway, Lady Bell and I are going to just kind of kick back and relax. I'm probably going to do some editing of the video and we will see you guys in the morning. We're probably just going to pack up. Uh, my wife and I are going to go do some hot tent camping tomorrow. So I'm going to get up early and head down the mountain. I'm going to go pick her up and then we're going to go find a location, beautiful location for another video that we're working on. So we'll see you guys in the morning. What a view. Good morning, Belle.
Good morning. It's currently 24 degrees out and it is a beautiful crisp morning. And the view that I have right now, you can see behind me, it's pretty amazing as the sun's coming up right over there. Wow. Well, I started packing up. You can hear the diesel heater. Diesel heater's cooling off. You see the hose that I had ran up inside there, right in the window. And uh, you see where it melted the snow last night. My first year review of the diesel heater, especially after it being packed up for almost six months or more, I would say that it was well worth the purchase on Amazon. Uh, it has been amazing. It got so hot in my tent last night, I even turned down the diesel heater. I had to open up my window, like unzip half the window. And here I got like 30 to 20 some degree weather blowing in on me, but it was still nice and warm inside the tent. So the only issue I had with that diesel heater since I've had it is I had to replace a glow plug and some computer module, but total cost was like $20 or something like that. And it was pretty easy to fix. So anyhow. Lady Bell and I are all packed up and we're going to be heading down the mountain. I got the Jeep warming up here. What an amazing view. Just look at that fog down there in the valley. At the beginning of the video, I said this trip was worth it. It was worth it. As the fog cleared last night and I saw one of the most beautiful sunsets and seeing this here this morning, it's just been amazing. I wanted to do a shout out. A father and son came up here on a, on a four wheeler yesterday. I believe their last name was the Higley's. Uh, fantastic folks, had a great visit with them, seemed really nice and just wanted to do a shout out to them. Also, guys, we are very close to a thousand subscribers. Less than a year ago, we had like 135. We are 97 subscribers or 96 subscribers away from 1,000. We're doing that $100 gift card giveaway and a free t-shirt. And we have the merchandise store now with all of our t-shirt designs and hoodies and hats. Uh, you'll be able to choose an item from that store, uh, a shirt, t-shirt, and we'll send it to you. So please subscribe and, and like this video, comment if you can. And if this video does well enough, we may actually hit all of our goals this year, which would just be really exciting. So thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.